<clears throat> Hello guys and welcome back. Yes, as you can hear, my voice is still a little bit upset. But uh, nevertheless, I would say that um, I'm pretty much ready to make a... Well, it's going to be a relatively short stream, so that's, that's one thing. Um, so the backstory today is that we originally landed at uh, ZSSS, that would be... Um, Oh, what is sad? And uh, some some of these uh, phonetic alphabet I often remember uh, the, forget. But I'm being annoyed when I figure it out. Let me see. Sad. There is solo. All right. So we uh, originally landed last time at uh, set SSS or a solo Sierra Sierra Sierra. But uh, left hand, so had a really good uh, job for us. We should take this uh, HV forty six. Flight from uh, Pudong at uh, Shanghai to uh, Incheon um, at uh, Seoul uh, in uh, South Korea. So uh, that's going to be a, I think that's going to be a pretty neat gig. Um, it's a relatively short flight, about one hour and 20 minutes, uh, depending on how much time I spent on getting the bird in the air and all that. <laughs> but um, I mean, let's uh, jump right into the flight deck and uh, Get the checklist up and running, and uh, yeah, I know it's still the uh, HV21, but it, it it works for the purpose. So, uh, engine masters are all off. That is a norm. Uh, flaps uh, are retracted, and uh, speed brakes are disarmed. Predictive wind shear and uh, radar uh, weather radar is off. Uh, let's see, uh, gear levers down. <coughs> and uh, wipers are off so we can uh, safely turn on the battery oh wait let's just do this now that we can see it and we have all above uh, 25.5 or whatever it should be so uh, no problem yeah gear lever is down wipers are off battery displays are above 25.5 so let's turn them on and now we have a little bit of Uh, what do you call it? Um, the the aircraft is a little bit alive. Oh yes, and I also forgot. <clears throat> for those of you who are watching on YouTube, just as well, welcome to the stream. Um, well, even though it's not a stream for you, it's a recording. Enable external power. We got external power, so let's get that on. And now we have light in the house i think we're going to uh turn the floodlight off don't think we're going to need that honestly I'm going to turn the integrated light all up uh let me see i think it's six yes we're going to uh we can set this to norm just unlock it uh for now uh, rudder trim is zero. We are the right frequency for the radio. Let's turn these on as well. Or not turn them on, but brighten them. All right. Same here. So we're just going to go through all of our usual flows that we have in the cockpit. Check the uh, GP wind shear is off. Let's try. We're going to go for um, door. And we're going to check that it's low pressure, but it's going to change when we start up the plane. Then we're going to go for um, hydraulics. They are fine. Good levels. And then finally, engines. We have oil aboard. It's not turned off anything like that so that's good uh, let's do the APU fire test which is part of the flow here so let's just uh, turn on crew supply uh, turn on the uh, ground control we don't really need that because this is a cargo flight but we're going to turn it on anyway let's uh, test the APU and we get an ECAM message so that's just the way it should be, and uh, let's uh, 
start up the ADS aligning. That's it. We can turn on the reading light if you want that, but no need for that right now. Let's call the uh, fuel truck. Got that. He's there. Go to next. We already did all that. Let's brighten up the flight. The first officer. There we go. Door page, we checked that. Let's try to see it now. Yeah, now it's okay. Perfect. All right, hydrogen, uh, hydrogen, hydraulics, and uh, we just did engine. Yes, speed brakes, parking brakes active. Walk around, we're not going to do that. Oxygen, evac switches. <coughs> it's for captain and purse. Um, that's fine. ADS, we already did that. Strobe light. Set this to auto. Nav for one, because we're going to fly in daylight. Uh, we can do this just to, I mean, just to put it into our um, normal flow. So this is reload data refs. And also uh, ATC menu. It's going to be the A346. And let me get the fly life tab up there. We're not going to use, um, obviously, not going to use um, uh, packs today because this is a passenger flight. Well, wait a minute. We might as well. Let me just let me see if we can do this because we do have crew on board, right? We do have someone to sort of cater for us. So let's try see if we can do this let's see fly uh yeah um one hour and 30 let's just say that about 45 minutes until we take off and nope oh wait, we can only we can select one passenger all right so no packs that's okay fair enough um strobe light set to auto nav logo Remaining stern light off, seatbelt sign. We haven't fueled lead yet, but we can set this to and arm this one here. Cockpit, I have temp, that's fine. Fuel pumps, not yet because we haven't been refueled. Engine fire test. Again, we go down here and look to see we have fire. We have the ECAM messengers and we have the master warning. So that's just fine. Standby horizon. All right, let's get a meter in order to do that. So 2020, let's set that. There we go. Let's turn constraints on here and airport over here let's set this to uh, our initial altitude which is going to be a three seven one <coughs> there we go um gear levers down let's check the brake pressure mm, no we need to turn on one of the uh, let's see is the green one can I really, really cannot remember? I think it's the blue one. Let's see. Yeah, what's the blue one? There we go. Uh, yes, accurate pressure, chronometer. Well, I've changed the time and date because. But it is the 20th December. So uh, for those of you who are celebrating uh, Christmas, happy Christmas. And for those of you who are not celebrating Christmas, happy holidays. Um, and 2254 is way off, but that's because I wanted to fly in the morning or 
early day. Yes, chronometer is perfect. Uh, landing gear announcers. We have four down for green. Radio panels. Uh, they are all on. Floodlight already dealt with that. Weather radars off. Multi scan should be set to auto and GCS to auto. Predictive wind shear off. Tilt. Five units up. Speed brakes are disarmed once again. Turn this one off because we don't need to listen to ourselves. Cockpit door is should be set to norm and it is. Switching buttons, they are I think it's two. They are all in norm. Landing elevation, let's go to a pressure there. Landing elevation is auto, as it should be, and the STS pages are normal. Perfect. Trust levers are idle, engine masters are off, we already checked that. Rudder trim zero, gravity key extension is locked. Transponder, set that, it's 2200, we don't have any ATC, it should be on. Um, and we are going to go for above. Set it to auto for now, but it will go to mode C anyway. <coughs> uh, transponder TCAS above, yes, and uh, well, it's it's not part of this, but we're going to turn this off when turn this on when we actually uh, about to take off packs. We already did that, and now it's the MacDo programming. Please go away. C1. There we go. Let's get our plan up and cooking. AV tab, toggle tablet, charts. RFPs. And it should be down here in the bottom somewhere. There. There we are. Let's see, the Meta said 192 meters per second, so it says uh, 17 right. Uh, let me uh, get a look at that. Yeah, 17 right, perfect. Because we're going to take off from the uh, cargo ramp 3, that's where we are. So let's uh, start with the data. Go to aircraft status. This is the engines, they're good. This is the Eric cycle, it's also... No change code and no idle performance changes. That's good. Let's go to init then. So we're going to go from um, Zulu, Sierra, Papa Delta to Romeo, Kilo, Sierra India. And we're not going to use this now. Because I want to program it in myself. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry about this coughing. Um, Romeo Kilo Sierra Sierra, Romeo Kilo Sierra Sierra. Flight number is 84, 8401, yes. So we are Lufthansa, DLH, uh, 8401 Heavy. Pax numbers, none. <laughs> Cost index, 95. Cruising altitude initial is 37100 dash temperature minus 49. And the trouble pause is 36084. Outside temperature, oops. Degrees. About the same temperature as it is here, that's actually pretty interesting. And um, let's go to flight plan. So, we are going to depart from um, 1 6 right, and we are going to use the Sur 8 1D. Oh, 
Oh, one six right. Wait a second. Ah. <laughs> That's right. Let's go back. Erase. One seven right. There we go. So eight one D. No transition. Insert. That should end us at Surak, yes. <coughs> uh, let me get the meter. Um, sorry, let me see. Three, four, five, five. Let's get a metric altitude as well. So that's going to be 11.3. That's what we have here. Then we need 11.9. What is that? Thirty-nine, one hundred. All right. Eleven three. All right. Just to be sure. So Surak. Um, let's go in there. By now that we are there, let's go airways. <clears throat> so it's going to be Alpha, three, two, six, and then. We're going to ignore this one. We're not going to go back down again. But that should, if we put in alpha. Oh, that's just because it. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Um, <laughs> uh, HV twenty six double uh, whiskey two oh nine. No, yeah. There. Let's see. Omlip. Yes. And then Golf 597. And uh, Gavo, yes. And then to uh, Go Nav. Golf, Oscar, November, Alpha, Victor. Temporary insert. And let's just try to figure out which uh, runway we can get at um, in Chion. So it says 200. All right, let me see what we have here. To deal with. One six and thirty four. If it's two hundred, I would say one six is probably well two hundred. Yeah, one six. So going to be a little bit of a long um let's go to one five l then uh because then we are a little bit closer to the uh, cargo apron and it's not that much of a difference um let's put that in arrival ILS one five left yes we're going to go for that Let's see, it's going to be something with Gona. We don't have that. Or what? No.
So I'm just trying to figure out which approach would be the best for one five left. Let me go in and see standard arrivals, let's see. Maybe that Rebit is a pretty good one. Rebit One Hotel. Try to put that in. Let's see. Uh, Rebit One Hotel. And then Isla C. Yes. All right, let's go for that. So, uh, arrival is going to be 15L Zulu. And we're going to use the Rabbit 1 Hotel. It's going to give a little bit and via.
There's Moonan and beat him, but I'm not sure I can really see where beat him is. But it does suggest Moonan here. Let's just go for Moonan. And then uh, no I'll transition. So from Gonan to Rebith, there will be a fly plan discontinuity. Um, let's just remove this for a second. <laughs> That's not very easy to do it like this. Let's see. Um, set this to plan. Yeah, about 40 is okay. Pop it out. Go down. Fly plan. Let's see. And from Gonaf, we're going to go direct to Rebit. Alright. That should be pretty much it. For the flight for, for the flight plan. Let's go to uh, Ratnath and see that uh, everything is put in as it should be. Uh, let me pop this up here as well so you can follow along. Uh... That's pre-planning. We're going to go out here like this. Probably going to get a very funny Ryan out, but uh, still. Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. I certainly will. All right, one. Um, yeah. Maybe tap. Um, airport. It is PD Shanghai Pudong. Let's see. Um, why does Pudong? I'm sorry, but why does it always remind me of Pudu from Star Wars? Uh, let's see. Um, approach, and we're going to take off from what was it? It was One seven ride. No, not one seven. One seven ride. There. Just to get the name India Kilo Mike. As I expected. India Kilo Mike. And airport because we need a little bit of help, I think, in taxiing out here. So we are taxiing all the way. We are almost there. So we're just going to use Quebec. Just going to use. I think it's even Papa, and then just Papa six. I'm not even sure. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. the wrong ones uh, let's see it must be this one uh link one five all right so link one five papa six and then to the runway all right let's continue uh so we went to fuel uh then let's go to init b I already put in the numbers just to save us a little bit time, not knowing that I needed to spend the time figuring something else out, but still. Uh, let's see, uh, 212.5, which is right on the nose, uh, and 22. Block fuel is 25.5. And now that we're at it, we have put that in. Let's turn the APU on. All 
fine. <coughs> and go for... No. Performance. So. We're going to for Flaps 3. Let's just do Toka because it's fun. And it sounds cool. Um, and we're going to say Flaps 3. It's going to be up 3.6. Flex temp is nothing, and we're going to do 144. 144. 152. Transition. Is something we probably should be whoop, able to read off at. Uh, I'm not sure what you're asking me about, Dan. I mean, I know that um, that the uh, A340, uh, HD59 does have a built-in uh, um, some kind of uh, pushback system, but how it compares to uh, better pushback, I, I really haven't. Um, I really haven't looked in, into it. All right, let's see uh, where was I going? Oh yeah, um, departure. We wanted the What was it actually? So eighty one D. Ah. Oh, maybe you're thinking about um yeah, I heard someone make a kind of a commercial for um so, some kind of uh, there it was, uh A1T. Uh built-in uh pushback system. You can try, but I'm not sure that uh, Streamlabs bot will let you. <laughs> but also, otherwise, you can just uh, share it on the uh, Discord. Uh, that must be in 9850. Let me just open AV tab and see if I can find um, aircraft. Should be this one. Yeah. All right. Let me see how far along we are. Well, we can turn seat belts on now because we are. Let's get these guys to drive away. No, not you. No. There we go. <laughs> I know. It's terrible. Beacon on. Uh, let's see. Anything else stays off. Um, I haven't really... Uh, what do you call it? Um... Taught him probably properly at Streamlabs barn. We already did the engine fire test. All of this is on. Seat bells on. I set this to on as well. <coughs> and uh, I'll say that we are ready for push bang and engine start. All right, so let's uh, let's turn off these. Get the uh, APU bleed running. And this should work. Let me just show you. This is something new that I figured out. So notice when I ask these guys to drive away. 
perfekt. All right, let's uh, ask, uh, start push back. Ground cockpit. Toe is driving up. And let's check to see if there's anything else we need to do. Go through the uh, <coughs> checklist. So cockpit preparation has been completed. We have done all of this. This is on. This it should be. Doors are all closed and we're ready. We have the fuel on board that we need and we have the cargo. Everything else is set like that. Uh, lights are on as they should be. Seatbelt lines. We don't need seatbelts, but I just just to get the practice in. Um, captain and purse is on. We have um, uh, our fuel pumps are on, and we have done all of the testing with engines okay, and all so forth. Are closed. Ready to connect. God. Gear pins and covers are removed. Signs are not on auto. We did it. That ADS are set to nav. Fuel quantity uh, 25.5. Takeoff data is definitely set. Bear refs are set for both 1020. And um, that's it. Windows on the below the line. Windows doors are closed. Beacon on. Trust levers are at idle. And parking brake is set. Perfect. So we are ready for start. <laughs> there's no need. That there's no need to tempting him then. So connected and bypassed and inserted. Release parking brake. Yeah, just a second, my man. Uh, let's see. Still 1020, so it's perfect. All right. Let's see if he takes us for a cool ride. <laughs> Probably does. Sometimes it it helps to turn the brake off and then release with the um, show brakes. And you may but start engines. Not always. I will. <clears throat> All right. Engine masters on. Starting engine two. Start the clock. But if it, I, I think it's probably is that. Um, I cannot remember what the name was. There was someone, um, a real world pilot, that sort of made a little commercial about it. It's sort of like a little electric engine that you attach to the no steering wheel, and then the plane can taxi itself around. It's pretty cool. All right, starting engine one. Yeah, no predictive wind shear is off. That's intentional, my friend. Set this to 10. All right, starting engine. Now oh, let's wait for this be available. <clears throat> well, no. Oh, I forgot to, um, <laughs> never mind, there's no one here. Um, put on traffic, Lufthansa 8401 heavy, push back an Indian start at stand 310. All right, let's start engine uh, three. Wait for in three to reach about 15. There we go, starting engine four. That should go to up 3.6 or somewhere around here.
Operation complete. Set parking brake. All right. Thank you, sir. I'm setting parking brake now. Oh. Now. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Let's set to flat three. Um, the spoilers. Said rejected takeoff. Disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Thank you, sir. And let's give him the There he is. Let's give him the sign. That we have seen him. Alright. Uh, let me see what else do we need to do. We need to do the takeoff config test. Let's do the uh, after start checklist. So after start anti eyes, we don't need that. Ecom status has been checked. Uh, status, yes. Pitch trim, it should have been automatically set. Let's see, uh, flight control, 3.6, yes, up 3.6. Rudder trim is zero. All right, so now that we're here, let's do a uh, flight control check. So, uh, full up, full down. Neutral, for left, for right, neutral, for right or for left, for right or for right, neutral. Alright, we've done that. And we have set our flaps to flat three, spoiler, speed brakes armed, predict to take off set, we're ready to taxi. And now that we have the opportunity, let's turn on the taxi cam. Well, it's not very bright, but it's it's sort of usable. <laughs> <coughs> All right. So, Shanghai Pudong traffic, Lufthansa eight four zero one heavy, taxi to runway. Just forgot. Put on traffic. Lufthansa 8401 Heavy. Taxi to runway 17 right via link 15. Holding short Papa 6. Alright, I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Uh, we are at the Unicom, so that's good. We could turn predictive wind shear now, but I'm not going to do that. In reality, I would actually turn this back and then hopefully remember to turn it on when we get down to the um to the holding point well let's taxi and here comes the tollless fun <laughs> get a flyby Oh, actually a drive-by, I would suppose, really.
And here we have Papa Six. All right, so here we will turn on weather radar, predictive wind shear. And here we'll give Captain and Purse what they access to all of that, and um, let's do the before check off checklist. So before take off, uh, flight controls has been checked. Well, let's just turn this. Uh, Oh, we don't need that right now. Uh, maybe we could uh, do it like... Uh, let me see. Yeah. Interesting. It's more bright down there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, flight control, flight instruments has been checked. Briefing is confirmed. Flaps is set to 3. We have... Um, V1 is 144. We rotate is 144. V2 is 152. Flaps 3, flex temps, no flex, we're going toga. ATC has been set. Um, TRI for the uh, ACAS. Uh, sorry, not ACAS. Um, TCAS, <laughs> ECAM memo. Uh, no blue. We should ding the cabin. Let's do that. Below the line, let's take off runway is. 17 right. Cam crew has been advised. TKS are set to TRA. Engine start selector. Uh, we forgot that. Let's set it to norm. Let's turn on the APU bleed and APU off. Uh, packs. Let's just turn them off because I mean, there are no passengers here. So let me see. Where are they? There. Packs off. All right. Next is X, uh, X to after takeoff. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, call the whatever. Pudong traffic. Lufthansa eight four zero one heavy. Takeoff runway one seven right. All right. Let's uh, turn on the. And turn this to take off light as well. Set stroke to on. That's it. All right.
I love that cam. <laughs> Alright, let's turn it off. We can find a good spot for my pedals. Out there. Alright, we're ready for takeoff, so let's uh, f stick halfway forward. Go to about 50%. Let it settle. And then Choker. Man Choker is his runway. Auto throttle is blue. One hundred knots. V one. Rotate. Positive rate, a positive climb, gear up. Twelve to climb. Go to flaps two. Flaps one. Turn packs on, so that would be packs one on, and then wait about ten seconds. Now that we're there, let's packs two on. No, oh, not that. About 9,800 meters, oh, sorry, feet if I'm not mistaken, where we should uh, go to standard. Let's get a flyby. Let's do some ground spoilers. Turn the terrain radar on. Start here. Go to standard. Turn these off, set seat belts to up, not off. Auto. Hmm. Maybe it's because flaps are still not retracting. Let's retract flaps full. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Alright, let's engage autopilot. Let's go through. Yeah. After takeoff, landing gear is up. Flaps are retracted. Packs are both on. 
bear ref is set to standard that's below the line. So we are ready to fly. Get another flyby. <coughs> I could have said, um, the wind but i'm not going to set wind for such a short flight but i am going to give myself shift s or one yeah there we go sunglasses So let's put in um, pretty sure it was at Surak we had a uh, Eleven one nine. That was thirty nine one hundred, if I'm not mistaken. So thirty nine one hundred and Surak. Ah, not Sank. <laughs> uh, Surak. Let's see, it should be, um... Uh, one six left. Try that again, Romeo. One five left, all right, so. Roma Kilo, Shira. Roma Kilo, Shira, India. One five left. That's more like it. Let's go to report. get a fuel prediction 12.4 that's that's more than enough
So this is mostly going to be a flight over water. It's not extremely interesting. As you can see, it's basic. We basically going to fly like this. It's a really weird route. But from there, there shouldn't be not much to go from Seoul to, for example, um, <coughs> um, Haneda or uh, I can't remember what the other one of the two Tokyo airports. There are a couple of airports in Japan we might want to visit. Um, going to figure out what those are, but definitely one of the Tokyo ones. They they are pretty cool. And then, well, I don't know, maybe a flight all the way over to... Mumbai, something like that. Delhi. I'm not sure about that. Maybe we will take an entire flight from... Um, Tokyo to yeah that's where the map ends it's a little bit weird about that to Los Angeles LAX and then from LAX all the way over back to good old Copenhagen Or maybe even go to Frankfurt um, for Lufthansa. I haven't really decided yet how and what we should do. I can show you the route here. So this is the route, so you sort of straight north and then turn off here about when we get to um, <coughs> get to South Korea. This is the this is the area where we're going to. Uh, Go up to three nine, uh, three nine one. It's three seven one now. So, we're not exactly at cruise level yet. Let's go see what it says. Uh, progress. Optimal is 403. Interesting. But in order to honor that, we would have to go, I don't know, somewhere around uh, 40, I don't know, a, a weird number.
because obviously this is a long haul aircraft and it really deserves a long haul flight so maybe we will i don't know maybe we will um do a sort of a christmas flight from lax to uh to copenhagen sort of like christmas presents <laughs> something like that i don't know all right almost a cruising level I'll cruise. <sighs> yes, I'll cruise. All right. Engines. Uh, no problems here. Bleed. still getting and uh, that should change at some point we should go over to only get the uh, low pressure that the high pressure valves should turn off it's one point pressure 8.3 seems fine electric ac generators 10 percent five seven i don't know when the l number seems a little bit low but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we're not drawing that much. DC, Transformers, APU Transformer, DC APU. Not running. Shouldn't at least. Batteries seems fine. Hydraulics, no issues. Nothing on the circuit board. APU not running. Condition, 14 degrees in forward and bulk, it's okay. Doors, all closed. Slides, armed. Wheels. Pressure is fine, no issues. Temperature is good. <coughs> Pitch trim has changed, which I would expect. Oh, step now already. All right. Pressure is three nine one. Yeah. Fuel, nothing in the uh, trim tank yet. And no other status. Try to see you recall. Nothing. Let's uh, have his show the flight plan. Let's get another flyby because they are cool. Certainly is a lot of wind up here. 130 knots. Wow. I just fumbled a little bit my microphone to sort of get it to point in a more reasonable direction. All 
Or maybe we'll do the um, the standard flight from. Yeah, let's do it from one of the Japanese. Um, let me see what uh, what uh, SAS has to offer on that account. Oh, wait a second. Maybe we should do it with, uh... Virtual Lufthansa. Let's see what they have from Seoul. Seoul. Yeah, why don't I let you... looking on this as well there you go they have anything that, yeah back to Shanghai no no <laughs> uh, they had to Beijing Frankfurt Hong Kong let me see if they have anything that goes to somewhere in Japan a track We have Osaka, Narita, Tokyo, Haneda. Try Tokyo, Haneda. No. Try Narita. No. Probably don't have anything then. Let's try to go for But I know I can always get something from these. Let's see about the uh, virtual um here. Let's see schedule. So let's uh select that's going to be uh that they don't even have <laughs> Um, what about Virtual United here? And I know that, that these as well as these I can get. Let's see. Flight schedule. Not what I really want. All right. Fair enough. So the question now is a virtual SAS or virtual United? I mean, I know which one I've flown the most for the most. Pretty sure that is virtual SAS. Let me see here. Yeah, eight flights for the Virtual United. But the thing is that I'm ATP captain there. Meaning that I have nothing to progress against. I mean, there's nothing to sort of further progress towards. At Virtual SAS, I am. After all, only. <laughs> uh, let me see. I'm a senior captain. But there's much more to sort of 
gain, if you will. Let me see if I can... Human resources, a rank... Senior captain, that's after 50 hours. But I can go all the way up to commercial senior commander when I've flown 350 hours. I do want to gain some more with, with uh, SAS VA because there I am still, <laughs> still, first officer and I will change that to, I think it's captain. When I go, no, that's senior first officer at 50 hours and then captain at 150. But SAS VA is also uh, restricted in what you can fly. So that's the only thing sort of I'm thinking about here. And I know that uh, for the two uh, Lufthansa virtual groups, I can't make my own charter flights. <clears throat> So I do have to select something that <laughs> that they they are um, they are doing. But the good thing about the Lufthansa um, virtual not Lufthansa virtual but virtual Lufthansa virtual group and then we have vir Lufthansa virtual the good thing about the former is that you you are still allowed to um, interesting. No, oh, they still we still can't select the A three forty six. But that should also first enter service um in two thousand twenty two. Uh for Lufthansa that is. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> oh that's because we go back to the flyby. So the next flight we're going to do is going to be from, um, let me see where SAS VA is operating. Um, we can also do it this, I haven't flown that much for this 
a virtual group here, so maybe I should do that. It's a booking system. Let's see, airline, aircraft types. Let's see what, let me see. Departure from... So, Tokyo Haneda or Tokyo Narita? Uh, let's try Narita. Interesting. They have a flight from Narita to Seoul, but they apparently don't have a flight from Seoul to Narita. I am not sure I understand that. Let's try again. Uh, interesting that's a bit weird but um yeah let's go for uh Tucker Narita and then just set any so we have to Zurich we have to Seoul but we can't use that for anything we have to Frankfurt think a little bit Cincinnati oh let's see Let's see what they did have from Seoul. To Shanghai, that's where we came from. So if not going back there, Beijing, Frankfurt, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Leipzig, Halle. No. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to take the Scandinavian flight. Or maybe even... Yeah, let's just do the... No, we're going to take the Scandinavian flight. Because I'm pretty sure that United Virtual, they had... They have to Frankfurt. They have Warsaw. Uh, uh, Warsaw. Vashava. They have John F. Kennedy, they have LAX. I mean, they have a lot of options, just nothing that we can use.
Oh, that certainly gave a little bit more. Let me see what we have. Oh, we have from Incheon to Narita right there. Perfect for United Virtual. That's going to be our flight. Uh, so which one is going to be and what airplane? <coughs> 333, alright, so that's a wide one. But we can change it to a wide two, we can also change it to something smaller, if you want to do that. Well, let's book that. And I think we're going to take the one at 625 Zulu. No, 950, because that works with... Nice, actually a 321. Hmm. Let's take the wide two. It's going to be a triple seven. So that is going to be Wednesday twenty second. And it's going to be a around 11 solo more around that probably going to be on that sim and let me see if i can select that no <laughs> I'm still figuring out what plane to take. Should it be an A340-300, which is then going to be the 340-600? Or should it be a good old A321? It's been a while since we've flown the A321, the, the real old A321. And it's going to be about 2.4 hours anyway, so... doesn't say anything about what kind of flight it would be
It is going to be a passenger flight. All right. Five on first class. Forty-six on business, and one hundred seventeen on. Economy. All right. So now we have something for United Virtual. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So that's settled. Now we have a flight from Incheon to Narita. We might make a little flight from <clears throat> Narita to hmm, Narita to Hanita. I don't know. Uh, that depends on what SAS VA can give us here. Let's go for a scheduled search here. We want to go from... Sergio Hanita, and let's see... I wanna land at Copenhagen, so let's see what they have. Search. They have one from no. Anita. Let's see about um, Narita to Copenhagen. Let's see if we have that. No, actually not. All right. Let's add that to the bit. Go take a look at fuel because I'm going to make something for the fuel usage calculation in PFPX. Let's open aircraft database. The one we are flying right now. APM. <coughs> Sorry. So let's uh, add some numbers. Gross rate right now is uh, 228, 700. Altitude is 391. Cost index is 95. True airspeed is 476. Ground speed is 271. Ah, sorry. <laughs> uh, 465 and fuel per hour is uh, 
120 times 60, which is 7,200. Minus 25. Applied. All right, that was that. Let's go back to cruise page and uh, let's prepare for our landing. Actually, our approach right now. So let's go in and go for Avita Airport. Close all of this. Because we are going to search for Incheon. Let's use Exxon Virus instead. I think we had RKSS as our. So it's going to be 210 for knots. On 5L, still the best bet, I'm pretty sure. Let's try to see. <coughs> 21 minus. One five is six and thirty four minus twenty one is thirteen. Yes, yeah, so there's no doubt one five is still the best one. One five left, and yeah. So let's go for our arrival. We use the Revit One Hotel, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, this one here. And then we will probably go direct somewhere around here to Munan. And approach. One five left. If I'm not mistaken. Let's go back at the uh, airport. Yes, one five left because then we can get to uh, the cargo apron. Um, pretty quickly. So I want to be relatively good set at Moon Am. So that we are ready just to turn in and uh, capture the ILS. Let's put this in into the box. Q and H is ten f ten fifteen. Temperature is 8. Wind is 2104. Let's compare that with the... Um, oh, they don't use... Oh, thank God. They're still back to... Uh, <laughs> uh, 2104 knots. <laughs> uh, yeah. Transition level. Oh. 
one for zero. Oh, I forgot to set that. Two, two, three. We're going for config full, so no changes there. So let's set this to three thousand. No wait, let's let's take a look and see what the initial Below flight level one seven zero. All right. Let's just set it to one six zero then. That's below. <laughs> yeah, RKSS is still with ground, but not RKSI, which is where we're landing right now. Where was the transition? One four zero. Let's go to one four zero. I've set it to 280 so we don't have <coughs> that much of a problem with uh, going down to 250 at 10,000 knots. Alright, let me turn terrain on. Set to 40. Let's get a flyby. I think this smells a little bit like a screenshot. There we go. Oh, that is still an issue. Maybe we should do an auto land with this one here today. I don't know. I 
decelerate. All right. Incheon traffic. Lufthansa eight four zero one heavy descending flight level one four zero. Let's do an urban descent. And there's also something else I wanted to tell you about. Let me see if I can find it. Because I'm pretty sure that it's about this time here that I actually have my... anniversary in Star Citizen. The 13th of December, 2019. So it's my second year anniversary of Star Citizen. How cool is that? To be frank. <laughs> So maybe we'll also have to do some Christmassy, uh, whoops, Christmassy stuff in Star Citizen. I don't know, whatever that can be. Last time under Luminalia, you could uh, transfer um, gifts. I'm not sure we can do that yet. Be able to let me see. We're about to uh, have to go direct to Rabbit or Rebit or whatever it's called. Why? Have I accidentally closed my... Um Flylife Studio?
Perhaps I did, but now it should be up and running again. Incheon traffic, Lufthansa 8401 heavy, going direct to Rapid. Let's do that. Let's do it now. Uh, let's see, fly direct, Rapid, direct to insert. So my my plan is that. So my my plan oh, sorry. is that. So my, my plan oh, sorry. Is so my, my I didn't know that the sound was on. <laughs> um, so my plan is uh, for um, these flights here that uh, you might have noticed that I'm not trying anything new really, not going for the uh, Cebo um, A3. Uh, uh, sorry, the Cebo uh, 737. I'm not going for the um, not salty. That's for um, um, for Microsoft Flight Sim, but the other 747. I think it's a 747-4 we have here, dash eight. I'm not sure. Now in in the uh, in in Flight Sim it's dash eight, so here it's 400. Um, I'm trying to keep myself <sighs> flying the planes that I like to fly and I want to try to fly them in virtual airlines as realistically as possible. I know that there's a lot of other uh, plane streamers out there, the pilots, and that they sort of try different aircraft, especially um, older aircrafts with, well, with not glass cockpit and some of them can even only fly via um, walls. I mean, um, radio navigation. <laughs> I'm not a real world pilot, so I don't think I want to entertain myself with that kind of stuff. Um, I know if I had to fly the um, the um, oh, the uh, what's it called the Concorde. I would have to sort of engage myself in in some ways with having to manually input um, all the um, the coordinates and all that into to, to the flight management computer and all that. And like I said, I have a setup right now that doesn't really allow me to fly anything that doesn't have a fly-by-wire simply because I'm using uh, the same hand I'm using to <coughs> sorry control the stick. Uh, is also the hand I'm going to use to control the mouse. So uh, one of them has to give at one point. <laughs> so that's basically why. But I can understand, it, understand if some of you may find that a little bit boring or tedious that sort of lumping between the three, uh, the same three, um, A3, uh, Airbuses. I could get the, the baby bus, the A319, but then again, I mean, why exactly? It's a smaller version of the A321, or actually the A321 is a larger version of the A320, and the A320 is, uh, the A319 is a smaller version of the A320. I mean, 
I am pretty satisfied with sort of the, the setup of my Hanko I have right now. Uh, so I don't really feel the need to sort of go to excessive boundaries with getting other airplanes to fly around. Um, I'm not doing this to uh, to sort of challenge myself or to, well, <laughs> quite frankly, get into trouble. I'm doing this because it uh, it re it's a relaxing, it's entertaining, and when you guys are here, I have you to talk with. So uh, that's really the reason why. So if you're sort of hoping for something new, no, oh wow, it's going to fly a uh, Dash 8 or it's going to fly that uh, British Aeronautics um, 146 or whatever it's called, the, the Bay. Um, I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. I might get into flying the Dash because that has, it has glass cockpit as well. And it is a little bit challenging to land, but... I haven't really found any of the um, companies that I want to fly in the future that has such such a plane. In the future, in the next year, I'm probably going to fly mostly for either Lufthansa or fly for um, Scandinavian Airlines. So, no United and no no nothing else, unfortunately. Not because I mind flying for either, either of them. But I want to try to sort of keep that sort of impression. How you would um, fly as a pilot in these conditions. All right, let's see. 10, 15. All right. And I quite frankly just enjoy flying the airbuses. I like the general layout of them. I like how the way they build up. I like most of the things about these airplanes and that's why I fly them. I know that one other guy, he's unfortunately, he doesn't seem to be very active in flying uh, sims right now. He was called Aviation Pro. I cannot remember his real name other than he was Dutch. Or well, is Dutch still, hopefully, I guess. <laughs> um, so let's set it all the way. Let's get it to all star. And uh, change it to 1015. And set it down to 3000. Engine traffic, Lufthansa 8401 heavy, descending flight level. Sorry, descending 3000 feet, flying. Approaching uh, ILS 15 left. Via the Ripit Romeo Echo Bravo India Tango, one hotel um, approach. Alright, so let's do a uh, uh, managed descent this time, because then we're going to uphold all the restrictions. Let's just ask people to take a seat. Um, in this case, let's just ask the cargo to <laughs> sit down. <laughs> And let's just turn on the lights. And get a flyby.
Anne ja. Bum. Ja, der ja. <lacht> Out of coffee. <lacht> Obviously the good thing about flying in via this uh, sort of route here is that we don't have to sort of deal with any um, altitude restrictions as you can see we do here 2300, 2600 but given that we are going down to um, 3000 it's not a problem uh, because that would be a problem on this side here. We can put it in though. Let's uh, see, it's on the airport if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Let's see, is it here? No. Yeah. No. And it's here. Fixed info, yes. So that's going to be um, Romeo Kilo Share India. Pretty sure that's 25 knots. Nautical miles, not knots. And then we have 360 and 180, so that's just the same. 360? No. <laughs> 360? 180? And the same. Romeo Kilo Share India. And then it should be uh, 90 and 270, so 90. And 270. Now we have them there. And we have the lines in. If I wanted to vector myself in, I could add a third one. Certainly do that. That would be Romeo Kilo Share India. One five left. Let's see, that would be three three three. <coughs> All right. Let's follow this. So we are here. Um, We are slowly climbing down, or descending down actually, um, but we could go direct Delta Hotel 023. Let's do that. Indian traffic, Lufthansa 8401 Heavy, flying direct Delta Hotel 023. Let's do that. That should shave off a little bit of our time flying. And since we are above the restriction, it's not a problem. I'm pretty excited to see what, um, oh, it's very foggy down there. I'm pretty excited to see what the, um, 
team behind um, the new um, uh, X Enviro, what they're coming up with, the version 1.17 or 117. So slowly creeping down to our approach altitude. <clears throat> Turn the landing system on. Pick it up at Sarkos, that is 2,600. We probably want to go down to that then. Indian traffic, Lufthansa 8401 Heavy descending to 2,600 feet. Was 2,600? Yeah. Because then I'm a little bit, a little less concerned that I won't have uh, the ability to, uh, but it seems to be toming me off at 3000 anyway, so. So Moonan, if it hasn't already, I'll activate the approach. What does that? Yeah, about 3000, so it's going to keep me there anyway. Flying in the clouds. <laughs> well, it doesn't seem to be a problem capturing it, so probably won't anyway. Let's 
Activate your approach. Let's see when can we go for flaps one? Two thirty-three. We are at below that. All right. So let's do that. Flaps one. Get these lights on as well. Don't know why it's keeping me there, but I'm going to go for going for an open descent to three thousand. Go down to 2,600. Let's arm the spoilers. Think we can safely go for... A f Let's go for a low. Flaps too. Get my feet up. Arm the approach. Uh, engage secondary autopilot. of that three. Two thousand five hundred. Incheon traffic, Lufthansa eight four zero one on final for ILS runway one five left. All right, gear down. Cabin crew, please prepare for landing. Or right, let's go for the checklist. Um, I forgot one of them. Approach, briefing confirmed, ECAM status checked, seat belts are on, barrel ref is set, minimum is set, engine start select as required. Landing, cranning crew, <laughs> cabin crew, advised, auto throttle is speed, auto brake is set to low, ECAM memo. No blue, but we have flaps full, so let's just go. Flaps full. No blue.
It's a bit foggy, so I think uh, Norderland would be appropriate here. One thousand. It's a little bit below the glide slope. Let's just do. 200. I can see the runway. Let's just do an uh, minimum autopilot off. One hundred fifty forty thirty twenty retard retard ten five. I don't know why it. Constantly goes off the center line here. All right, let's see. I think we can take the Delta. Delta one, just coming right here. Engine traffic, Lufthansa A401 heavy clear of 15 left. Alright, we are at uh, Incheon. That was a pretty neat landing. Let's see some underground spoilers. Just re <laughs> Let me see if I can. There we go. Retract flaps. Start the. APU. Set this to taxi. Turn this to off. Same over here. Let's try to turn this on here. Let me see. All right, let's see where we are. We're not going to taxi very far. Delta one, Delta two, and then we're going to stop at stand. <coughs> I 
Let's take a 604. Engine traffic. Lufthansa 8401 heavy. Taxi to cargo stand 604 via Delta 1, Delta 2, and Delta Alpha. Alright, let's do it. That should be pretty easy. if they are enumerated they are all oh, perfect six oh two Six oh three, and six oh four. I didn't know. Did I find a... Uh, or did I put something on here? I'm <laughs> not sure. Let's see when he stops me. And... There. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Alright, let's turn this back off off uh let me see anything else we need to do well we need to turn off the engines obviously let's turn the apu bleed on let's turn this to off forgot to turn this off dang it again all right, let's turn this on so we don't off so we don't blind him. And let's ask some guys to come and help us out. So we need something to get down. All right, we are at Incheon. Welcome to uh, South Korea. Turn the floodlight up a little bit. Oh, we don't need it.
All right, let me uh, let's take a look at the, what um, they said here. So, <clears throat> well, that certainly apparently it was a very very soft landing. Minus eighty feet per minute, but a landing. Uh, actually, it's not that good. It's it's too soft. <clears throat> All right, but let's finish it um, and file it. All right. I'm just going to put my blanket down for one second because now it's really dark in here. Uh, two seconds. And obviously, with my blanket, I actually mean <coughs> my green screen. That's really what I'm meaning here. Alright, so since there's nothing really, I mean, we're not waiting for anything here other than nothing, actually. <laughs> Let me remove the, uh, I'm actually remove it this time. Fly life top. Uh, let's, uh. The, are there anyone near us? Nope, just us here at uh, Incheon. So let's uh, disconnect from Vatsim. And let's take a look at that landing. Alright, I'm just waiting for this. <coughs> Um, window to disappear. Please go away, sir. Thank you. Let's see, oh, let's get an outside view instead. <clears throat> it seems that that I'm actually getting okay good at landing with the with the uh, A340.
Let's see. Incheon. <laughs> In case you weren't out. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that greasy soft landing. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. <gasps> get one from the uh, touchdown point out there stand right next to the to the point all right let's Let's look at this. Oh. <laughs> Let's take a look from inside. Engine view. <coughs> Let's get it all from all the way out here. And yes, I found a new mu a new uh, new tone of new music for my uh, my stream. I'm not sure it's better, but but it's there. Seven minute long, seven minutes long, you know. <laughs> little bit of wing flex but not much let's get a one from back here let's take uh this one here instead, or maybe this one.
Uh, let me see. Where are the? It's over here. No, oh, not map. Oh. oh. Well, I'm afraid we're going to use your spots, Korean Air. Let's see, 604. There. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this stream here. I will leave it with you to see the landing once again and then watch the taxi all the way in. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, soft, butter soft landing. <clears throat> I hope that you enjoy this. If you're watching on YouTube, I hope that you have enjoyed this as well and that you will consider subscribing for my YouTube channel because I will be try my best to be putting some more content out there. I know I've been still forsaking my YouTube channel a little for streaming instead. Um, I promised that I wanted to sort of explain shortly what has happened the last week. So the first day, the Monday last week, I had to buy a new Warhammer figurine for my... A mini for my son so most of day went with that tuesday i had to take my daughter for her um, vaccination her covid 19 vaccination her first one and i also had to meet up with a guy for a uh, sound guy sort of a, to get introduced to the sound system and light system for a concert that my wife held um wednesday that was with the concert, so most of the day went with that, preparing and all that, getting the computers up and running, having a backup. And then Thursday, well, I just took a day off, and then I streamed again Friday. So that's basically it. But nevertheless, like I said, I hope that you enjoyed the stream. I hope that you'll consider coming back for more streams, more content on YouTube, and... Uh, Stay safe out there and I will uh, see you around. Bye-bye, guys.